The Rise of Turkey's TFX, a closer look at the development of an indigenous engine with space capabilities. Welcome to our channel, where we dive deep into the world of military technology and defense. Today, we're taking a closer look at Turkey's TFX fighter jet and its ambitious goal of developing an indigenous engine. As many of you may know, Turkey's TFX program, also known as the National Combat Aircraft Program, aims to create an indigenous fifth-generation combat aircraft to replace the country's fleet of F-16s. The program was launched in 2010, and the prototype is expected to be completed in 2023, with the first flight taking place in the end of 2023. One of the major challenges in the TFX program is the development of an indigenous engine. Developing a jet engine is a complex and resource-intensive process that requires significant expertise in areas such as aerodynamics, material science, and manufacturing. Turkey has been working on its own engine development program, the National Combat Aircraft Engine Program, MMUEP, which aims to develop a new engine for the TFX. The program was launched in 2018 and is being led by Turkish Aerospace Industries, TAI, in partnership with other Turkish defense companies. According to the country's military procurement body, two engine industries and TR Motor have responded to the request for proposals to develop the engine for the TFX. The TFX is expected to be powered by two engines, each of which is estimated to have a thrust of 9 tons, enabling the aircraft to reach Mach 2 speeds. Additionally, the TFX is also expected to have a maximum altitude of 16,700 meters, a length of 19, and a wingspan of 12 meters. The development of an indigenous engine for the TFX jet is a significant technical and financial undertaking for Turkey. The country has launched the National Combat Aircraft Engine Program, MMUEP, in partnership with other Turkish defense companies with the aim of developing a new engine for the TFX. While it is a challenging task, and it may take many years and a lot of investment to complete the development successfully, it is a crucial step towards Turkey's goal of having a competitive air force. Additionally, the development of the TFX jet is also a significant step towards Turkey's goal of expanding its aerospace industrial base, especially if the country's access to the F-35 is permanently blocked. The prototype of the TFX is currently being assembled in Ankara and is expected to be launched in 2023. The TFX is expected to have a top speed of Mach 2, a combat range of 690 miles, and a space capability. Space capability refers to the ability of a device or system to operate in or interact with the environment of outer space. For a fighter jet like the TFX, this could include features such as the ability to launch from a space-capable aircraft carrier, the ability to maneuver in a weightless environment, or the ability to track and target objects in space. It could also include the ability to launch or deploy payloads into space, such as satellites or other equipment. One example of an aircraft with space capability is the American X-37B Orbital Test Vehicle, which is a reusable unmanned spacecraft that is capable of performing autonomous flight in low Earth orbit. Other examples include the Russian MiG-25, MiG-31, and the U.S.'s State Route 71 Blackbird and X-15 aircraft. These aircraft are capable of flying at extremely high altitudes, approaching or exceeding the boundary of space. It will be a formidable rival to the American F-22 Raptor, and it will be interesting to see how the development of the TFX and its engine progresses in the future. We will be sure to keep you updated on any further developments and information about the TFX jet. Thank you for watching.